We're going to use a site called Now Comment to upload our articles that we're reading so that we can annotate those articles. So here's how you do it. Let's say I'm doing some reading and I have found this article, Have Smartphones Destroyed a Generation? So what I want to do is grab the text from that. Um, I'm on Chrome right now. And I'm going to use a Chrome extension called Mercury Reader that strips out all the ads and, and artwork and everything. So if I turn that on right now, um, when I go back to the smartphone article, turn that on, um, I'm just left with the text. Okay, So I'll just copy this text now and go back to now comment. So I've got the text that I want to upload, so I'm going to go to upload document. And in this case, I'm going to copy and paste from a web page. And has, have these. Okay, and then I'm just going to type in the text, copy in the text here in the text. All right, I'm going to hit upload and it's going to uh, ask if I want to change or delete any text for right now. You know, I give it a quick look and I'll say, you know, keep it all and save and continue. These assignment fields and the time controls and special features for now I'm just going to leave alone and I'm just going to continue. And there's my document that I am ready to annotate now. There are a couple other things I want you to do to make your document that you just uploaded more user friendly. So the first thing I want you to do is go to the More drop down menu and go to Properties, Access Dates. Then we're going to go to Edit. When you first upload a document, it defaults as a private document. So change that to Public and it'll say, you sure you want to? Yes, because otherwise no one else will be able to read it. Uh, make sure the title is there, but you did that from before. So the things that I want you to pay attention to are not the assignment fields, not the time controls, but the document information. So I want to make sure there's an author there. So look up the author's name and paste that in there. Do the EasyBib style guide um, citation. So that's self-explanatory. Go there and just uh, copy the citation and put that in there. Um, put the publication date. And then put the original uh, URL. So if I go to the article that I was just uh, uploading, you know, here's the the, IR, the URL here. So I'm going to copy and paste that URL um, right into this document right here. There's the URL. Um, for our purposes, this is for educational use, uh, and so this is called fair use. It's supported by the um, copyright uh, law of 1976. So fair use, uh, we're allowed to use that. Um, for the type of uh, document, I'm going to say article. Type in the word article. And um, then we're good. Just hit finish. 